Hi, my name is Malihe Hosseini. I got my PhD from Tarbet Mudaris University in Tehran under supervision of Professor Fereshda Saadi. Uh, my thesis was about uh, linear preserving problems between Banach function algebras. Uh, the study of preserving problems is an active and popular research area, especially in matrix theory, functional analysis, and also in operator theory. You know, uh, preserving problems concern naturally the question of determining and describing maps between different structures which preserve something in connection with the elements on the underlying structures like rank, norm, spectrum, spectral radius, invertibility, etc. This um, problems arise in most parts of mathematics. For instance, we, I can mention um, Kaplansky famous problem on invertibility preservers between Banach algebras, the gleason kahn zelaskow theorem, which is one related to result in this case, and also a longer program in the mathematical development of geometry, and also the celebrated banach Song theorem, which characterizes all non-linear preservers, in other words, isometries, between the spaces of continuous functions. And uh, of course, after graduation, I started my job as an assistant professor at the Department of Mathematics of Khaja Nasir Tusi University of Technology. It was 2011. Since then, I've been teaching courses at both graduate and undergraduate levels, and also supervising students. Now, the both are ongoing. Uh, okay, the both are ongoing processes and uh, I mean doing research and also teaching. Actually, I think mathematics has a long history in Iran. You know, the existence of great constructions like Persepolis shows that some people were working on mathematics. They applied mathematics for art, architecture, etc. Uh, but uh, we don't have any special data for that period of time. It's times for ancient Iran. But after that, fortunately, we have information. So I can mention some great mathematicians like Khwarezmi, Hayyam, Khaja uh, Nasir Tusi, of course, the name of my university. Uh, they were not only mathematicians. They were working on physics, astronomy, engineering. And even Hayyam was a, also a nice poet. And anyway, mathematics is, uh, has been developed during these several years uh, in terms of quantity and quality. Uh, for example, we have uh, in each main city, we have uh, universities with PhD program in mathematics. We have got uh, some good centers and societies just dealing with mathematics. For example, Iranian Mathematical Society and also the Institute for Theoretical Physics and Mathematics, in short, IPM, with two branches, one in uh, Tehran, the other one in Esfahan. Uh, they organize good um, international conferences, workshops, as well as lectures, and sometimes uh, social events regarding mathematics. And we have some great mathematicians, and also smart students, and you really enjoy working with them. But you know, finding the job and get a permanent position is not very easy. And so some students prefer to change their fields for higher education. And it seems that we need some improvement in this direction. And uh, let me point out two great mathematicians. The first one, Mariam Mirzakhani, was the first woman, the first Iranian who won the Fields Medal, which is mo the most prestigious prize in uh, mathematics in 2014, uh, May 12. Her birthday is the International Women in Mathematics Day. Actually, the idea of considering this date as a special day for women mathematicians was proposed in uh, International Congress of Mathematicians in 2018, and this uh, by the Women's Committee of Iranian Mathematical Society, and this idea was approved by the vast majority of participants and since 2019, this date is for uh, celebrating the achievements of women in mathematics. And the other one, uh, Professor Kuchar Bilkar, who won the Fields Medal in 2018. It shows that we can be more hopeful and uh, optimistic to see more success in future.
It means a good opportunity to broaden and deepen your study in your research. It provides you a chance to be in another environment, to be with other mathematicians. For me, when I want to start a research with another mathematicians, I prefer to be in person at the beginning because you can, you can exchange your ideas, discuss easier. And anyway, it helps you to uh, build a body for your research and fix the problem uh, easier. And so it's really helpful. And so when uh, you are in another atmosphere, you try to just focus on math and your research. That's, I think it's really helpful. And anyway, uh, such experiences uh, help you to grow and learn more, apart, even apart from mathematics. Uh, actually, when I was a PhD student at Tibet Modernist University, I spent a research assistant at Universitat John Primero, in short, uh, Uji in Spain. And thanks to this opportunity, we started a collaboration at that time. And now we had a, a project in progress concerning non-surjective linear norm preservers, in other words, non-surjective isometries between uh, absolutely continuous function algebras with their original norm. And now this is during these days, um, I'm hopeful we can finalize it. And apart from this project, uh, discussing on uh, this joint preserving map is, was another uh, main schedule and uh, we also fixed some problems in this area. Yes, as I told you, uh, we fixed some problems on this joint preserving map, so I hope to continue this uh, topic. And of course, we definitely will do it. And uh, another thing, maybe working on some nonlinear norm preserving maps between uh, vector value function algebras. Maybe we work on this uh, subject also. Anyway, we try to share our findings with giving lectures or publishing our results in a suitable journal. Uh, finally, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the staff of SIMPA, ICTB, CRM, uh, so the Department of Mathematics of UHI, and, and also, as, of course, my main host, Professor Quan Fung. And I hope this opportunity leads to a fruitful collaboration.